Hello, I'm Greg Wheeler. The Patterns of Thinking method allow your students to learn content knowledge and thinking skills at the same time. The Patterns of Thinking, or DSRP, can be used with any student at any time in any content area. You can teach your students to organize systems, or S, by using guiding questions like, does this idea have parts? Or can you think of this idea as a part? Think blocks are a great way to physically model these questions. With think blocks, your students can organize any idea into a system of parts and wholes. Here's how. Let's say you're studying the legislative branch of the U.S. government. What are its parts? Students might say things like Congress, Senate, makes laws, Capitol building. They can also break these parts into smaller parts. For example, voting, procedures, 100 members, six-year terms. Students have used think blocks to break an idea down into its parts. They can also use think blocks to see the larger holes that a part can fit into. For example, what is the legislative branch a part of? Students may say things like the federal government or Washington, D.C. Democracy. And what is this a part of? Students might say things like forms of government or history. Students have used think blocks to see how one idea fits into a larger context. Teachers often ask how they can break this idea down into parts or how they can see a larger whole that this could be a part of. Because think blocks are fractal, they're the same shape across scale. You can zoom in on an idea by making a small think block into a large one. After students have constructed this idea, they can collapse this model back into a small think block and return it to its original context. With the Patterns of Thinking method, your students learn about the part-whole structure universal to all ideas. Think blocks are a tool that let them handle any idea no matter how abstract and organize them into parts and wholes.